uh, Mr. Aizawa. I think, um, I think Kachan's actually gonna kill me this time. I think, I think he's actually gonna do it. I think he's actually gonna kill me. Cause he, um, he walked up to me in the hall and he gave me a rose. Like he didn't say anything. He just gave this to me, stared at me for a couple seconds. And then he walked away. I, I have never been more scared of anything in my entire life. Hey, Ms. Trizawa. Hi, I'm sorry. Okay, so you know how Kachan goes to sleep really, really early? Well, the, the girls, uh, Mina and everyone, were having a sleepover and they decided, hey, let's put makeup on Kachan while he's sleeping because he's a heavy sleeper. He's not a heavy sleeper. He's not. Anyways, um, I locked him in my dorm room after he chased them all the way to my room. Um, I don't have a mattress anymore. And I don't know if I have a door anymore. And I don't know if it's going to hold him much longer. And I really, really don't want to see Mina dead. Could you, could you help, please? Hi, Mr. Aizawa. Okay, we were in the middle of class when suddenly Kirishima jumped up onto his desk and yelled, Pikachu, I choose you, and suddenly Denki stood up and just started electrocuting stuff, and Momo joined in on it and said, I choose Charmander, and then Todoroki started just lighting stuff on fire. I, I, I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know why he would join in, but he did. So now they're having, like, an actual Pokemon battle, but in the English class. So half of the room's on fire, and the other is now electrically charged. I'm so sorry. Mr. Aizawa, President Mike and Tokiyami's Dark Shadow are having a competition to see who can make the loudest, most aggressive, most ear-piercing, bird-like noise possible. Jiro's crying and I'm very close to crying too. Could you make them stop please so we can sleep? Hey Mr. Aizawa, all of the girls plus me plus some other guys from class 1A may have sort of started an entire school-wide riot to get Mineta out of the classroom and Shinzo into it to like switch the purple-haired guys but now it's getting out of hand and the classrooms are all on fire. Hey, Mr. Ice Out. Anyway, so we were watching a horror movie in the 1A dorms because we were like, bonding, movie time, let's do that. And so a jump scare came on and it turns out some members of our class are not good with jump scares. So um, half of the students are stuck to the ceiling. Part of the couch has been blown up and the rest of the room is frozen. Um... I am really sorry. <laughs> Mr. Aizawa, Mineta got Todoroki stuck to Kachan. They're both yelling at me. I don't know why. Can you help? Please? <laughs> hey, Mr. Aizawa, okay, we were all training in the pool and then Denki sneezed and now everyone's passed out and there was like electricity everywhere and no one's waking up and I think I need your help again, I'm sorry. Hey, Mr. Aizawa, um, Tokiyami's Dark Shadow kind of grabbed Aoyama because, you know, shiny bird, the bird's like the shiny thing. He's an Aoyama is very shiny. Like, he, he just, just, he's very, he's a very shiny, anyways. Um, so, uh, he, he uh, Dark Shadow kind of took Aoyama and we cannot get him to give him back. So that's happening. Um, <laughs> hey, Mr. Aizawa, um, Long story short, I did something stupid. Hey, Mr. Aizawa. Um, so Mineta did something really, really messed up, and Saro and Denki got mad at him, and they tied him to a Roomba. Like, Saro duct taped him to the Roomba, and then Denki electrocuted it, but now it's going haywire and just kind of zooming around the dorms, and we can't catch it, and Ida doesn't want to help us catch it. So I need your help. I'm sorry. Hey, Mr. Aizo, okay. Todoroki kind of lost control of his fire side and we don't really know what to do. Wait, I could just use water. I could use water. You're right. That's so smart. Okay, bye. Thank you, Dad. Wait, hold on. Wait, no, I didn't. Hey, Mr. Aizawa, um, Saro and Kachan got into a fight because Kachan was being mean to somebody. And Sarah was kind of sticking up for them, and so they got into an argument, and uh, Sarah taped him to the roof. And Kachan started blowing up 
the roof. The date didn't come undone, but the roof did start falling down. So he's um he's he's still attached to a piece of roof, but the roof is now fallen, and we can't get him out from under the roof, cause the roof is on the ground now. Please help. Hi, Mr. Zawa. Hagakure and Uraraka were practicing with their quirks outside, and Uraraka made her float, but we don't know exactly how high up in the air she is, so we can't bring her down, and we can't see her either, so we know she's in the air, we're just not really sure where in the air she is, so Todoroki's kind of been firing ice at random to see if it'll grab onto her, and we can be like, oh, she's, she won't die if we bring her down now, um, but he's missing, and a lot of the classes have been frozen, including all of 1A and part of 1B. I'm really sorry. Hey, Mr. Aizawa, okay, so Denki got hit by one of those love quirks that makes you like, oh, first person you see, you're gonna fall in love with and be obsessed with, and he, he didn't even fall in love with a person, it's just Ojiro's tail. Just his tail, so he's like koala onto his tail now, we can't get him off, and we don't know what to do about this, because, I mean, how do you deal with this, can you, can you please just come help? I'm sorry. Hey, Mr. Aizawa. Uh, I punched Kachan in the face. Just now. He was doing his usual spiel about me being a useless Deku, and it kind of just started to mumble together in my brain, and then I, I just swung. And I hit him really hard. He wants to kill me now. Um, help? Please? <laughs> Mr. Isella, hi, I made a really big mistake. So I was trading with All Might earlier, right? And he said, good job, young Midoriya. And I said, thanks, Dad. I called him Dad. I don't know what to do. Can I don't even... Hey, Mr. Isella. Shinzo? Never mind, you'll do. Uh, Kachan's trying to murder somebody. Because he said, you're an extra, and they said it back. Can you, can you help me? Hi, Mr. Aizawa. No, I don't, I don't have a problem to report. I just, can I just, can I just hide in here for a while? Just for a little bit. Please. Hi, Mr. Aizawa. Okay, hypothetically speaking, if I were to hypothetically have broken one of my arms, how long exactly would I need to stay out of school for? And would it better be better for me just to not tell anybody or like, like, what's the protocol with that? Hey, Mr. Aizawa, um, Kachan and, and Kirishima and the rest of like his friend group are trying to use Denki as a lightning rod because, you know, you, you cut the power of the dorms because we were being bad and now he's like, Hey, Mr. Aizawa, uh, Denki swallowed a bunch of batteries. Uh, he, he thought it would make him charge faster if he ate batteries instead of like using an actual charger and now he can't move like the left side of his body. I need hey, Mr. Aizawa, we were hanging out and like trying to bond with some of the other classes and other courses and stuff. Anyway, so Shinzo and Bakugo got into an argument like they do and uh, Bakugo responded to him and now Shinzo's in control and he's just making him do the Nico Nico knee thing over and over again on repeat in front of the entire school and I'm really scared Bakugo's gonna like break out of that control and like kill everybody so um we need your help hey mr aizawa hi okay so everyone was wondering what would happen if we mixed mineta and sarah's like sticky parts their quirk plus suyu's ability to stick to walls and now we can't get her off the ceiling